This is Mamoto Samara. Welcome to another solution tutorial of soil dust. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the top view, this is the front view, and this is the right side view. First, I will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, here you can see first we will draw this slot shape. I I will going to use the straight slot and the slot has a dimension of 100 and a radius of 50. So first select the top plane and select sketch. Now select straight slot, place it to origin and now dimension it to 100 and radius it to 50. Okay. For a better view, I will use my dimension and dimension it manually also. Okay. Now here we can see we have a circle uh, that was that is to be a stud cut. The circle is 15 radius. So I will select a circle and place it to the origin and draw a circle of 15 radius. And select another point and draw the 15 radius circle. Now press OK. Now isometric it, go to features and extrude boss. And it should boss it to 15 unit. Okay. Now we can we can see we have two strip, incline strip in the both side of the slot. So it is 50 unit apart from here, and its wide is 25. So I will select. Uh, the front face and draw to incline line and then it should boss it to 10 unit okay select this face and now sketch normal to it i'll first place a point here and another point here uh, another point up here the vertical distance from this height to this height is 90 minus 15 minus 10 so I use this my dimension and dimension this point to this point it to 90 minus 15 minus 10. Okay. As you can see the wide of the inclined bar is 25 units. So I will dimension this 2.2 point to 25 unit. Same goes for the bottom surface also. So, dimension this 2.225 unit. Now press OK. Now select line and draw a line connecting to this two point and draw another line connecting this two point. Now close the shape. Now press OK. Now isometric it. After that, go to features and then extrude boss. It here you can see it has extra boss of 10 unit because if we minus 100 uh, minus 80 uh, 100 minus 80 then we will get 20 and 10 in the both side so this will be 10 unit so dimension into 10 unit that was reverse the direction now press ok now draw the same inclined uh, part in the other surface so select sketch normal to it now place the point here and place another point here and place another vertical point here now go to my dimension and dimension the vertical distance 90 minus 15 minus 10 now place a horizontal point and also in the bottom surface now dimension this Two point. Now dimension this two point uh, to twenty five unit, and also this two point to twenty five unit. Now press OK. Now select a line and connect this two line, and also this two point. Then close this two shape. Now press OK. Now isometric it, 
go to features and next it goes it to 10 unit now reverse direction now press ok after that we can see we have another slot at the top surface of this side so here we have to draw a bigger slot and I will draw the inner slot uh, of 10 dimension offset so the, select this surface now sketch it now normal it now select convert entities and select this line this line and this line and this line and select the overall dimension of the slot now press ok now go to offset entities and select a line and reverse it now press ok now isometric it go to features and here you can see it has a extrude boss of 10 unit so i will extrude boss it to 10 unit go to features and extrude boss it to 10 unit now press ok after that we can see that here we have a vertical part and this part is 10 degree incline so i will first draw a point so can i can refer to this 10 degree incline so i will select the front plane now sketch now normal to it now draw a incline line select a point here and draw the incline line and go to smart dimension and now select this incline line and the horizontal line now dimension it to 10 unit now we have got our uh, 10 degree angle now select line and draw a vertical line now go to trim option and trim this two part now press ok after that select a point and place the point here now select trim entities now trim all the unnecessary part now this point refers to our uh, 10 degree incline distance so now exit sketch now select a plane reference plane and select as first reference select the top plane and as the second reference select this point now press ok now select this surface now select sketch now you select convert into this now i normal to it and select offset into this select a line and reverse it now press ok after that you can isometric it and now i will extrude both this to this reference 10 degree point so now select features and extrude both and extrude both select up to surface and select this surface now press ok we have drawn extrude both up to this surface now we have to extrude cut this extra portion so first i hide this plane now select the front plane now select sketch now normal to it now select a point and place the point here and dimension it to 10 unit because from this line it is apart from 10 unit distance so select this point and this line and dimension it to 10 unit after that draw a incline line Select a line and draw an incline line connecting these two points. Now I will close the shape. So select this point and this point and close the shape. It will draw a triangular shape. Now it should cut to get our desired dimension. Go to features and it should cut. It should cut to both sides. Now press OK. Now we can see at a, at a distance of here which will be 90 minus 10 at a distance of here we have another inner slot and the inner slot uh, and this inner slot is 50 so I can say if I offset this from this surface to this surface 25 unit and this surface to this surface 25 unit uh, then I can draw this inner slot 
after that i will draw this small rectangle uh, which is a 25 unit of distance and another small rectangle here 25 unit of distance then i will draw the inner circles press to cut okay now first of all we need to draw the reference plane from the bottom okay now select reference now select plane now select top plane after top plane now select distance select distance as uh, 90 minus 10 now press ok now select this plane now sketch it now normal to it after that i will select offset interest and this time i will select offset of 25 because here if you offset from this side 25 because total distance is 100 and the slot distance is 50 so if i offset this from this side for 25 and this side from 25 i will get the sl uh, slot so reverse it then select throughout the chain okay now press ok now select, select this inner two circle so i will select this inner two circle by using uh, convert entities now convert entities now select the rectangle and place the rectangle here and draw a rectangle and select this point and draw another rectangle now dimension this rectangle as you can see the rectangle distance is 25 so i will dimension it to 25 25 unit and also this side dimension it to 25 unit after that select the trim option and trim this part and this part now press ok now isometric it go to features and extra boss and as, as you can see it has the extra boss of 10 unit also so I'll, i will extra boss it to 10 unit now uh, press ok hide this plane okay as you can see we have done our 3d sketch and uh, thank you for watching till end thanks for watching and keep learning be different